Good morning, teachers and learners. This is Miss Perlita D. Francisco, a.k.a. Teacher Pearl, your singing teacher from Andres Fernando Elementary School, and I will be your teacher in Music 6. Welcome to another episode of Valenzuela FB Live. But before we start our lesson, don't forget to type your name, your grade and section, and the name of your school. Class, there are some rules to follow while we are having our online class. First, find a comfortable and quiet space. Be prepared and on time. Respect your teacher and classmates. Participate actively. Be ready with your paper, pencil, and mojo. So at the end of the lesson, you are expected to sing or play instruments in solo or with group melodies, songs in C major, G major, and F major. Next, create simple melodies and sing self-composed melodies. So class, are you familiar with a game named that tune? So this is what you're going to do. Listen to the music that I'm going to play, and then you're going to type the title of the song in our chat box. Ready? First song. Bago ang lahat Ang luma ko ay Di naging sapat Name that tune Time is up So what is the title of the song? Very good Paubayan Next song, please. Okay, name that tune. Time is up. So what is the title of the song? You are correct. Bahai Fubu. Next song, please. Close my eyes and I can see the world is waiting for me. That I call my Fubu. Name that tune. Time is up. So what is the title of the song? Very good. A Million Dreams. Fourth song. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shine. Name that tune. So what is the title of the song? Oh, Holy Night. Very good. Next song, please. Ang 
平姑苏，阿弟干开等等。Name that tune. Time is up. What is the title of the song? You got the correct answer. Ako ay Pilipino. Okay, class, do you still remember our lesson about musical scale? Can you identify the musical scale used in each picture? Number one. So what musical scale is shown in this picture? So what is the answer? Very good. Key of C major. Next, number two. So what musical scale is shown in this picture? If your answer is key of D major, you are correct. So, by the way, how did you know that it is in the key of G major? Very good, because it has one sharp placed on the fifth line of the step. Number three. Okay. So, the answer is? Very good. Key of G major. So, again, how did you know that it is in the key of G major? Very good. It has one sharp place on the fifth line of the step. Number four. So what musical scale is shown in this picture? What is the answer? Very good. Key of F major. And how did you know that it is in the key of F major? Correct. Because it has one flat placed on the third line of the space. And number five, what musical scale is shown in this picture? Very good. You got the correct answer. Key of F major. So again, how did you know that it is in the key of F major? Correct. It has one flat row or place on the third line of the step. So our lesson for today is about creating simple melodies. So what is melody? Melody is a succession of notes, pitches, and rhythms. It is the tune of the song. So there are things to remember in creating simple melodies. First, one must have the knowledge about musical notes and rests, measure, and time signature. So to know whether the direction of the melody is in ascending or descending manner, or to know whether the sound is high or low, one must first know the basic and important tools in music. One of these is the musical staff, which is composed of five parallel lines and four equal spaces. The staff is important because it is where all other musical symbols are drawn. So this is a musical staff. It has five lines. One, two, three, four, five. And between these lines are four spaces. So line, uh, space one, or first space, second space, third space, and fourth space. Next symbol is the ledger line. It is shown below or above the staff to notate notes that are below or above the lines and spaces of the regular staff. So these are the ledger lines. 
So remember that music is infinite or endless. That's why we draw ledger lines below or above the stack. Next are the pitch names and sofa syllables. So every line and space on the stack has a specific pitch name or letter name and sofa syllable depending on the clef sign used. Next is pitch. Pitch, it is the term for how high or low the note sounds. For example, high, low. Again, high, low. So one of the musical symbols drawn at the beginning of the stop is the clef. Its function is to indicate the specific position of the note and pitch on the step. So there are two most commonly clef used. The first one is the treble clef or known as a G clef. This symbol is drawn starting on the second line of the stop above the middle C. So in G clef, every line has letter names or pitch names. For the first line, so let's start from the bottom to the top. First line, we have E. Second line, we have G. Third line, we have B. Fourth line, D. And fifth line, F. And for the spaces, first space, we have F. Second space, A. Third space, C. And fourth space, E. So class, for us to easily remember these letter names or pitch names, we use chants or words for these letters or pitch names. For example, E, you can use every word, every. G, good. B, boy. D, does. And F, Fine. Again, every good boy does fine. And for the spaces, just remember the word face. Again, remember the word face. Face on the spaces. Okay, next is the F clef or the bass clef. It is shown on the fourth line of the staff below the middle C. So letter names on the lines of F clef are first line G, second B, third line D, fourth line F, and fifth line A. So again, we can use words or chants for us to easily remember these letter names or pitch names. For example, G, Grandpa, B, Buy, D, Donut, F, Four, and A, All. Grandpa, Buy, Donut, For All. Again, Grandpa, Buy, Donut, For All. And for the spaces, we have first space A, second C, third space E, fourth space G. So again, for us to easily remember these letter names on the spaces of F left, we can use words or chants. For example, A, O, C, can, E, eat, and G, great. All can eat, great. Again, all can eat great. Okay, if we're going to put these two staves together, so we can have now the grand staff. So always remember 
the G clap is shown above the middle C and the bass clap is shown below the middle C. G clap is used for higher voices like soprano and tenor and for musical instruments like flute and violin. For the bass clap or F clap, it is used for low pitch or low notes for voices like bass and baritone. And for the instrument like tuba. If you have pitch names, we also use the sofa syllables. So for the pitch name C, we have Do, B, Re, E, Mi, F, Fa, G, So, A, La, B, C. So for the G clap, so these are the sofa syllables. So E, we have Mi, F, Fa, G, Sol, A, La, B, T, C, Do, D, Re, E, Mi, F, Fa. For the F clap, we have G, Sol, A, La, B, T, C, Do, B, Re, E, Mi, F, Fa, G, Sol, and A, La. Okay, class, did you know that a hand is similar to a staff? These five fingers stand for five lines. So first finger, or the pinky. So let's start from the bottom. First line. Second line. Third line. Fourth line. Fifth line. And between these fingers are the spaces. So first space. Second space. Third space and fourth space. And the letter names or pitch names for each finger is E, G, B, D, and F. For the spaces, we have F, second space A, third space C, and fourth space E. And now for the F clef, so again, so this is line one, or first line, second line, third line, fourth line, and fifth line. For, for the spaces, we have first space, second space, third space, and fourth space. And for the pitch names or letter names, so first line or first finger, G, second, B, third, D, fourth, F, and fifth line or fifth finger, A. For the spaces, we have A, second space, C, third space, E, and fourth space, G. Okay? So this time, we are going to have an activity. Identify the following musical symbols shown in this pictures. Number one, what musical symbol is shown in this picture? You can type your answer in our chat box. Go. Time is up. The answer is very good. F blank. Number two, so what do you call this symbol? You got musical stamp. Number three, so what do you call these letters? A 
Okay, time is up. The answer is correct. Each names. Number four. Go. Okay, time is up. So what is your answer? Very good, kids. So far, syllables. Then number five. So what do you call these imaginary lines or small lines written below or above the staff? So what is your answer? Very good, kids. Ledger line. So this time, kids, we are going to sing the song, The World of Music. Ready? La la la, la la la, welcome to the world of music. La la la, la la la. Welcome to the world of music. Music is the language of the soul. We can express our feelings and thoughts. Music can help us do some amazing things. Yes, amazing things. La la la, la la la. Welcome to the world of music. La la la, la la la, welcome to the world of music, world of music, it's fun to learn music. Okay class, are you familiar with this song? Did you know that I am the one who composed this song? I am the one who created the melody of this song. So if I can make or create my own melody, you too can create your own melody. So I will give you an example using this song. La 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 la. Welcome to the world of music. See, I already created another melody. So again, but I've said, if I can create my own melody, you too can create your own. So remember, melody is a succession of notes, pitches, and rhythms. In creating simple melodies, one must have the knowledge about musical notes and rest, and their time, volume, measure, and time signature. To know whether the direction of the melody is an, in an ascending or descending manner, or to know whether the sound is high or low, one must first know the basic and important tools in music. Okay, so be ready with your paper and pencil, because this time you're going to choose the letter of the correct answer. Or you can type your answer in the chat. Are you ready? Number one. It is strong below or above the staff to notate the notes that are below or above the lines and spaces of the regular staff. Ready? Is it A, sofa syllables? B, staff? C, ledger lines? D, clap? Go! So, what is your answer? Correct. Ledger lines. Number two. So, what are the pitch names found in the lines of F? -Bell? Is it A, E, G, B, D, F? B, G, B, D, F, A? C, F, A, C, E, D? D, A, B, C, D, E? Go. Time is up. 
So the correct answer is B are correct. Letter B, G, B, B, F, A. Number three, it is composed of five parallel lines and four equal spaces where you can draw all the musical symbols. Is it A, ledger lines, B, musical staff, C, musical clef, or D, pitch needles? Go. Okay, time is up. So what is your answer? Correct. Letter B, musical staff. Number four, it is a musical symbol drawn at the beginning of the staff. It indicates the specific position of the note and pitch on the staff. Is it A, larger line, B, musical staff, C, musical clef, D, pitch needs. Go. Okay, time is off. And the answer is... You got the correct answer. Letter C, musical clef. And number five, which musical symbol is the treble clef or G clef? Is it A, B, C, or D? Go. Okay. What is the answer? Very good. Letter B. So how many of you got five correct answers? Very good. So class, before we end our lesson, I will give you an additional activity. So you're going to create a short simple phrases and compose simple melodies for the phrases you made. And make a one-minute video of your output. So that's all for today, kids. So once again, this is Miss Perlita D. Francisco, a.k.a. Teacher Pearl, your singing teacher from Andres Fernando Elementary School, your teacher in Music 6, saying thank you for listening. Keep safe. God bless. Goodbye.